The first time in Sarasota Military Academy's history, three cadets have been appointed to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point in one year. SNN's Jessica Ward has the story. It's definitely a lot of work. Hard work paying off. Three Sarasota Military Academy students are attending the United States Military Academy at West Point come fall. I started kind of like the beginning of my junior year because the academies have a thing where it's like a summer leadership experience, so you have to do a whole application for that. And then you have to do a whole application for your congressional nomination, and then on top of that, when it comes time when the um, academy applications open up, then you have to start that whole process. And when the process is complete and you've been accepted into a very selective military academy? I'm beyond excited. I never would have thought I would have been in this position, and now that I am, I can't wait to go. This is the first time in SMA school history that three students have been accepted into West Point at one time. I think this is a huge opportunity for our school to show other kids what they can do coming out of this school as well a school that prepares students in multiple ways. Our IB program has assisted with the rigor of what they will expect at West Point, as well as our JRTC programs. But before they report to West Point, there is a taste of regular Army. We have to go for what's called beast, so it's six weeks of like, uh, like basic training and they're yelling and screaming at you, so it's gonna be nice to like actually know someone. Basics are in New York. Lauren McMahon and Davis Ulrich received letters from Congressman Vern Buchanan. Every student who is admitted into West Point must receive a letter of recommendation from a congressman. Anastasia Osborne said that she received hers from Congressman Tom Rooney, and it was his primary letter. Reporting in Sarasota, Jessica Ward, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.